But what I'm think, I said something like this in the Seasbrain run, but like, I guess what they, because uh, Engine was attacking us, like maybe Cort Cortex told Engine to kill Crash, take the gems from him, or the crystals rather, and then since the all the the uh, the five remaining ones are basically in his in the space station they already have the rest of them so you can take the ones from crash and since he's out of the picture they don't have to worry about him like potentially stopping their plans or something and then yeah <laughs> cortex to just mind ray the earth basically i guess but i i don't know man like maybe cortex maybe Cor uh, Crash was just, just misunderstood. Well, he well he is not really smart, so he probably just mi he probably misunderstood. But the fact that Engine tried to actually kill us kind of kind of tell tells me something. Like maybe it's just me thinking way too hard about this. But yeah, it probably is. But I don't know, man. Like you'd think that if you, if uh, Cortex wanted me to give the the crystals to Engine, he wouldn't attack me. But yeah. But there's a very good reason why I restarted there. Um, this level has a death route, and yeah, same rules apply. So we don't wanna, we don't wanna get through the level and not uh, and end up dying. But this is. This level is, uh, in terms of like getting the gems, it's um, definitely up there with a cold hard crash. Not, I, I'd, I'd, I'd still argue that crash, cold hard crash is a lot more annoying though, um, because of like all the things you had to deal with. This is just kind of more of a minor nuisance to me, uh, because you had, you do have to go back, but since it's like a side scroll level, it's nowhere near as bad. So you just have to be a little bit, just kind of have to be careful around here. All right. And again, this, this is I think I mentioned this before, but like the whole jumping towards the Z axis or Z axis is what you can use in this level to do a lot of cool little uh, shortcuts and stuff but you have to be kind of you have to be pretty careful in executing them because you can just end up falling and dying instead and yeah i'm not getting that box uh checkpoint because the the ideal way to do this is to go through the section go back hit the checkpoint and then go to the death route so then you don't have to worry of repeating this again. Alright. I have to be careful now because I lost both of my masks like a dipstick. Alright. Okay, there we go. Okay. I hope that didn't cost me the skull part, the death route. Cause if it did, that would suck. Okay, right, we'll find out. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you have to bounce on that if you want to make it over. Okay. And... Done. Alright. I just make our way through. 
And hopefully... Ah! Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to restart. Okay. I'll be back in a bit. Alright, I'm back. And now that we have a mask, we don't have to worry too much. But still, we want to be careful around her. And there's like one box, I think, that's that we need to get. Don't, don't want to worry about that. I'm just going to keep make. I'm just going to keep going just to make sure. Oh my gosh, that was so clutch. Okay. All right, we're in the clear. All right. Huh. Okay. <laughs> that was a bit stupid of me to do that, but yeah. The reason why we we're doing this is because there's boxes in the death route. So, yeah, we have to go all the way through here and then go back to so we can get to the death route. So, yeah. Okay, Coolio, we're almost there. See, so yeah, it... I wouldn't say this is as bad as Cold Hard Crash because that was a lot more simple to do. And you actually don't have to worry, you don't have to save, uh, save that guy, but it's the easiest way to do it. If you don't have him, you can just do that instead. And just so we don't forget, checkpoint. Yeah. So now we don't have to worry about doing that again. And now we can just go through here. Alright. If I do this, ha! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Oops. Shouldn't have done that. Alright. Nice. Even though I don't really need the fruit anymore. It's always nice to have. It's just something that you just collect just because even if you have 99 lives. Alright, come on. Yep. Here we get a gem. And now, yes, there we go. Ah, uh, 60, 69. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, gosh. All right, now we're going to go to another gimmick level. There's only a few of these in this game, and while well, Crash 3 has tons, but... This gimmick, I'm honestly not the biggest fan of, like, uh, well, a lot of people aren't, but... Yeah, it's just the controls, really, like, it's, it's like, you have to, you move up and down with the, with, uh, with the D-pad, and, like, it's inverted, so up, down, down, up, and... That's all fine and good, but A and uh, A and X, <laughs> X and Circle move backwards and forwards, and I mean, it's just kind of—it's not the worst controlling thing in the world, but it's just kind of a hassle trying to remember everything sometimes, and it's, it just feels a little bit wonky. This is definitely something that they that they need to improve in the remakes, like. I like the idea of a jetpack level in the in the crash skate in the crash series, but it just isn't executed uh, well here. And I don't know. I, and there's a similar thing in uh, tw uh not Twin Sanity. Um, what was it? Wrath of Cortex. But um, that didn't do too hot either. Like that was also pretty annoying to control. Um, it was probably worse, actually, but yeah, they, they really need, need to work work with a better formula for this 
this type of gameplay style. Thankfully, most uh, most of the ones in Crash 3 uh, did pretty well. Like the motorcycle levels and the um, plane levels are the main point of contention, I guess you could say. Um, I think I like the plane levels fine enough. Like I think they work perfectly fine, but I can. But they were easily my least favorite levels as a kid. But growing up, getting used to how they work, they aren't really much of an issue for me anymore, but I can totally understand why people wouldn't wouldn't really like them. Because back then, yeah, I thought they... I didn't really care for them too much because I had so many... Tr I had so much trouble playing them, and I easily thought they were the worst levels, but now my least favorite... my least favorite are easily the motorci mo motorcycle levels, and even then there's only one motorbike level that I consider legitimately bad. All the other ones are mildly annoying at worst. At worst. What the hell? I thought I had an Aku Aku mask. Apparently not. All right then. Yeah, you don't have a lot of protection on this level. If you want to call it that. Okay. Uh, yeah. He's a, lot, he's a lot more generous than the ones in Crash 1. I'll give him that, but still. That one had stupid trip timing sometimes. Alright. Yes, and the wire can kill you as well. You don't have to worry... About just the, uh, like, the sparkly bits. The entire red wire can kill you. Alright. And we're good. Yeah, it's very, it's very easy to miss a box in these levels. And now for a night fight. Okay. So yeah, this is basically the um, another one of those dark levels. So we already played one of these, and yeah, <laughs> I don't know if I. I'd, yeah, I'd say this is harder, because for starters, we actually have a death path in this level, because... Well, uh, no, well scratch that. I don't know why, just because Naughty Dog wants us to kill ourselves, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, there's a death route here. Also, speaking of which, um, I... I believe in the secret dark level, the, uh, they, uh, they're playing the, uh, death route music for the entire thing, and that's not, until I fell into a pit, and also until, uh, you know, the 1995, J aka Jason, told me that, I had no idea, because I thought it was just, I, it's not something I've really paid attention to, but it's actually a nice little touch, I guess. If a little bit random. I don't know. I guess it's... I... Eh, I guess it makes sense, because it's a secret... It's a secret level, so... I guess they just expect it to be harder. I don't... Uh, <laughs> Alright. I don't even think we have to go through the... The, uh... Death path. Oh, I think we just have to go pile, go enough far enough to get the gem, and then we can just kill ourselves. Cause uh, there are boxes here, but they're right near the end. And okay, that was stupid on me. That was stupid on my behalf. But yeah, there are some boxes near the end, but we can actually get to those through the normal pathway, and then just going back a little bit. 
Okay, seriously, I need to stop doing stupid stuff here. I don't know what's going on. Alright. Okay, I almost did something stupid again. Yeah, sometimes I just fail like that. <laughs> well, then again, I just hate dark levels in general. Skillage! Fail failage! Yeah, if you die like 10 times in the in the same level you get and get a mask, which is not which is very nice. But I'm not exactly dying for the most part by getting hit. I did a few times, but it's mainly because I kept f falling in the sink. Or the falling in stupid pits that, sh that should be easy to see coming and avoid. But Okay. I'll take it. And I don't think we need to worry about going on for the rest of it. So, yay, now we get the gem and a mask. So, yippee. Alright. My main issue, really, is that you have to react so fast to things coming. Like, sometimes it may seem like there aren't any bottomless pits, but it'll soon come into view like in a split second and then you have like barely any time to react to it it's kind of annoying like that's what again another reason why i hate these types of levels and yet sometimes enemies just move way too quickly well oh they aren't too bad here but yeah in the uh bonus in the uh, secret level they were like sanic speed kind of fast <laughs> so yeah and this one follows you normally, so. That might have been a bad idea. Right, don't leave me! I don't know where I am. I'm scared. I don't know if I missed something. I probably missed something. I don't trust this. But we can't do it anymore. Even if we die, we can't do the bonus room anymore. So we're just gonna have to hope. I guarantee we missed something. And I was way too slow. Alright. Let me in! <laughs> okay. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. Alright. Alright. So now, we can go back a little bit here. Okay. Yeah. What was that? Come on. Alright. Anything? Anything? At all? No? I'm making my way. I made my way throughout, like, most of the area. Wow. I guess you don't even need the death route in general. But, um, to get the gem there. But, yeah, we just need to get those two. Two, two boxes, I think. And 
Just leave it. Okay. I'm I'm game. All right, if you don't want to be awkward with me, then nice. Okay. Now just don't be an idiot, Harry. Please. Alright, so just go back here. Get the couple of boxes. And then just go back. Alright. Just get these two, and that's it. Alright. Coolio. Now we should be good. Okay! Ha oh. ha. And now we're free. He ain't gonna get me this time. Oh. Yes, okay. We didn't mix a, miss a box. I was afraid. Okay. Almost done. Two more levels in the final boss.